Hey everybody, John Yasa here and welcome to not an edition of Practical MDO. Today's video is very, um, I don't know, informal. Um, I'm just doing a recap of the OpenMDO workshop for 2022. I just got back from Cleveland. It was an absolute delight to be there, to meet a lot of people in the MDAO community. Um, we had maybe 80 participants in person, something like that, maybe 40 or 50 online. It, it was a really well-attended event. So let me tell you about it. It was a three-day thing with the first two days being an OpenMDO workshop and the last day being an MFIS workshop. I'll have a link in the description below to what MFIS is if you're unfamiliar with it. But the really neat idea of this workshop was to just get people together and to talk about things. These things being MDO, how OpenMDO helps you do that, development ideas that users have and what they would like to see. Um, it, it was a real treat. Additionally, personally, I, I met a lot of people who I'd only known online, never really seen their faces. Um, met some new people who were like, hey, I, I've been watching the videos. Thank you. And I'm like, thank you. That, that's fantastic. So it was a really good time. I, I enjoyed being there. But let's talk about some of the outcomes here. Uh, there are many great presentations from people in academia, industry, government, people doing MDO and sharing how they're doing it. We will have either the videos, the slides, or both for these presentations live at some point. Not yet, because you know it's only been a few days since the workshop, but they will be live, and I'll tell you about that when they are live. There are many fantastic kind of takeaways. Um, I'll focus on maybe the development side, because I'm certainly on the on the OpenMDO, the NASA Glenn side of things. There are lots of great suggestions from users about things that they would like to see in the future. I cannot, you know, promise that we're going to get them done or anything like that. When I say we, I mean, you know, Brett and Ken, other people who will actually be implementing these changes, not necessarily me. But some great ideas, um, including but not limited to, we have source indices in OpenMDO. What about target indices? What would that look like? Um, some, some details about changing residual names, a few things like that. Um, how to do sub problems. If you have nested optimizations, how should we do that? Should we provide a nice way to do that in OpenMDO? Again, this is not all the ideas. There are many ideas, but please watch the poems repo. I'll have another link in the description uh, because the poems repo is where we will track all of these ideas, kind of set up a, a simple implementation for them and allow for user input to say, hey, actually, I, I think it'd be really cool if if it worked like this. And then you can suggest a way that it should work. So this is really the way to, to get feedback on potential changes to OpenMDO and, and kind of see, you know, what's coming up next in the pipeline. What what should I suggest what is going to be possible soon that's not possible now? Another thing that, that came out of the workshop is the idea of having more interaction with, with some of the developers and the application team on the OpenMDO side of things. There was talk of office hours. You know, maybe we have like a one hour, a, a week or a month or some amount of time where you can sit down with the developers and ask any questions you have. You know, like, hey, I have a model about this. How should it? How should I put this into OpenMDO? Um, there wasn't too much interest in office hours. I don't know if people were hesitant to raise their hands or not, but we settled on a great idea. And this great idea is to use the GitHub discussion board. This is a, is a searchable and a, and a very interactive way to talk with developers and other users of OpenMDO. It's different than Stack Overflow because Stack Overflow really expects, here's a question, here's an answer. This is not a subjective question, it's just one question. But the idea with the GitHub discussions is that you could have more subjective questions. You could have a discussion based on what actually happens. That's why it's called GitHub discussions. We started this, and I'll, I'll be demoing this behind the scenes right here, but I'll also have a link in the description. Check it out. If you have any questions, thoughts, ideas, things that you want to see different on the OpenMDO side of things, maybe a question, hey, I'm thinking about doing this model. Is this a good idea? What, what should I uh, do here? Post it there. See what's going on. Get some feedback from not just the, the dev team, but other users. It's a beautiful way to get some peer-to-peer some -peer interaction as well. So again, that doesn't replace Stack Overflow, but it just gives us a little more flexibility with what's going on there. Now, for me personally, the workshop was also great because I got a physical copy of Engineering Design Optimization by Martin Zening. It's delightful to have this in my hands. It's signed. It's going to be worth a million dollars soon. Uh, but I reference this a lot through the practical MBO course. So it's neat to have a, an actual textbook copy. Thanks, Kim. Okay. Anyway, this is just a real quick kind of recap video about, uh, about what was going on, you know, how Cleveland was. It was a real treat to see everybody, to talk to everybody. Um, let's keep this interaction going. Let, let's keep this going on the discussion boards and uh, let's keep it going in the poems repo. Let's keep it going all over the place. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching this informal video and I'll get back to working on some practical MDO videos now. Guys, gals, and non-binary pals, take care. Bye.